to Let's Mega Mech with Marlowe's Stingrays. Uh, just do a quick check in here before we advance to our next mission. Uh, we have this breakthrough mission going to happen here in three days. It'll be Thursday. And uh, so it should be this lance here. Let's go ahead and get it deployed. I guess mentioned sometimes it will auto deploy, sometimes it won't. But uh, there's that. Let's just check uh, everything else real quick here. We're still still on Epsilon Eridani. Oh, I was going to check also the weather here since it's that kind of heavy snowfall. Don't know what that does, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I'm assuming it's just going to have penalties to hit. I don't know. I tried looking up the, the rules for different weather effects, and uh, I guess I didn't try very hard, but uh, I might do that again right before we actually get into the fight. But here, just keep going here. Uh, repair bay, I think everything is still being worked on. I've got some green tech, so we'll just, I'll take care of a lot of this uh, between scenes here. Infirmary, looks like all of our patients. Did we ever get rid of our prisoners? like it. Alright. Guard. Oh, he's on guard dude. Okay, yeah. Guard. For the uh, infantry. And it's not a defensive mission, so we can't use her anyway. And he's still grounded for now. Sad times. Oh, uh, Scout, what, what I'm going to do for this, it was it was one of those things where we get some kind of reroll. I was poking around actually in like the setup for Mega Meg, and there is a way, like you just, like a straight up plus one to your initiative for everybody. Uh, what I'm going to do is like for the scout, uh, er, er, for every, uh, it, it won't really come into play until later, but when I have infantry on scout duty, if I roll a six, uh, one battle can basically get a plus one initiative. So I am going to eventually add in the description here for these rules, especially since like this one I'm changing. These I'm not so much, but uh, and then I might just put a description here just for the base infantry rules, how they can deploy. It's not really too relevant, uh, but it's just kind of nice to have a little reminder right here as opposed to going into the rules and trying to remember. Trying to remember. Uh, finances, we still have money. That's good. All right, so uh, go ahead and pause, and I'll be back with you when we're ready to start this mission. All right, I'm back, and uh, we should be about ready to go. We're continuing to salvage some parts and uh, fix the stuff, and things are looking really good in the repair bay. Uh, there was another little weirdness with the uh, Hellcat. It, for whatever reason, when I first started, the nose medium laser was damaged. I, I don't know what's going on. I just it, This thing just keeps getting randomly damaged somehow, and I don't understand why. It's it's not like, it's not maintenance rolls. It's nothing like that. Uh, but I don't know. I'm, I'm keeping tabs on it, but it's going to be really irritating. It's, it's like these mechs. If I had to like just remember what all was damaged on the mech and it, like just randomly adding stuff, I wouldn't even notice. So right now the Hellcat, I, I just I just have the one and I know what it is. Anyway, the other thing I want to do real quick here, we have enough experience um, to level some people a little bit. Also, the personnel market, I didn't I didn't mention it Monday. It was empty, so there there was nothing there. So anyway, let's see, we got uh, the old pain train here. He should be ready to go. up his gunnery a little bit still green but he's a better he is better and uh, John here should be able to actually become a regular pilot boom regular that means you get promoted So we're we're working on that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I just need to push the button now. So oh, and I didn't even look. I forgot to look up the uh, the weather effect. Oh well, we'll find out here really quick. Let's go. that one 
one gets irritating. Let's see what we got here. Got the Saracen. All these fun people. Wolverine, Griffin, we're fighting off. Well, we're trying to break through, actually. We're, we're not trying to necessarily fight. Uh, let's, I need to set these guys up, too, with their speeds. Um, LRM Carrier. Yeah, they start from the north, too. Wow. Oh, it's going to be irritating trying to get these guys to behave. What's his quirks? Wolverine has a cramped cockpit. And a jettison capable. Plus, it's apparently a command map battle mech. Wow. Wolverine has a lot of stuff going on. What are you? Well, I kind of know what you are. I don't like it either. He's an LRM 60. How fast does he go? Zero? That ain't right. 60 tons of that, he goes 3.5. A demolisher. Two AC 20s. Well. Okay. Your Rhino. LRM 40, SRM 6, machine guns, medium lasers. A lot of nasty stuff. And this, I think, is just three PPCs. Yeah. A lot of nasty stuff we have to go through. Um, what are you? You are a... You're f slow. Wow. How heavy are you? A 35-ton vehicle that only goes 2-3. Well, he arrives on turn 10. Um, let's go ahead and configure him. Congratulations, you are slow. Scorpions go even slower. That can't possibly be correct. No, it has a one. Is this is a four. Why is it saying it's moving so slow? Is it the snow? Um, I'm going to go back and look at him real quick. Uh, 100. So that's a uh, four. I mean, it's, this thing is still slow for light, but that's not. It's not one two. It's a four. So he'll arrive on turn eight. Oops. Okay. Yes. Um, Thirty-five tons. He has an engine of one seventy-five. A five, uh, five eight. Uh, this will be turn eight, and a headser is a four, so that's turn eight. So I'll just do them all here at once. Your turn seven. You're already set. Space. That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. But it is what it is. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to look at. Oh, yes, the battle values here. Uh, we need to see what they actually need to get, take us down to. I should have re-rolled something here. I didn't. Two thirds. So, what is two thirds of our force? We got five, four, two, three, plus two, two, one, nine equals. And multiply that by point six six. They need to get us down to five thousand and forty three battle value, and then we lose if they do that. 
and there is no, I mean, we can knock all of them out. We're not going to have the battlefield at the end, so we just really need to book as fast as we can, um, which this isn't going to move very fast, especially if the snow is actually going to cause problems. Let's find out. <laughs> Starting in the south, and we need to go all the way north. Uh, yeah, let's give ourselves a little bit of a head start. Now they should be starting in the middle, mostly. We're we'll have to try to keep into cover a little bit. Shadowhawk, go over here. Stalker. There. Somewhat worried about this hovercraft. I don't know how it's going to handle all this terrain. Take that in the face. Isn't that fun? What's first, the Saracen? How far can you go? Not very. Yeah, the snow is obviously doing something here. I was pretty sure a Saracen was faster than that. Maybe it only affects vehicles. Well, I don't really know what else to do other than just run straight into this for this first turn. Saracen, what can you see? I would really like it if you could knock that out. Nines, let's see, is Snowfall doing it? Yeah, plus one for the Snowfall. And he ran. Let's go ahead and take a, take a shot. I mean, both of these are scary. Where are they? Oh, they're way back here. This demolisher isn't dangerous until we actually get close to it. So right now, it is just these that we have to worry with. Mm. But you nines, go ahead and fire that off, and yeah. see anybody? Oh, that would be awesome if he can. But I feel like I'm just missing something here. Maybe not. Can you hit anything? No, you're, you're too short range. And you should be able to do something. I'm surprised he's not firing either. Oh, he hasn't gone yet. That's why. What is the armor? Actually, very lightly armored. Uh, what about this one? Much more heavily armored. I think this first turn we could be able to take. We could take out this thing. Did it say it was crippled? Why is it crippled? It moves zero. The snow is doing something, so maybe this is to our benefit. I really need to go look up those rules. All right. Um. He's crippled. I'm not going to worry too much about him. Is this guy crippled too? Yeah. Maybe that's why they didn't fire. That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. 
Well, let's get some kills. Oh, I need to bring you back up, please. Give me your targeting data. Dinos. We got alarm tens. Yeah, I mean these are still. Take some of these nine shots. Let's go. And Vindicator, you should be able to shoot something. Yeah. Well, in theory. Let's do it. Alright, the some misses here. LRM5 hit the LRM carrier. Not that big of a deal. Wolverine miss, lots of misses here. Oh, here we go. LRM-10, we damaged the motive system so it can move even less. Did some more damage with the LRMs. And some missiles hit here. Yeah, not a whole lot. It's just that we have a lot of very high two-hit numbers here. You know, this might actually be kind of easy considering they can't move. Can these guys move? This one too. Uh, it's a. Uh, he's bogged down as well. He has. That's not right. He has a. He's 35 tons. Doesn't really say here what its engine is. But... I don't know. He is. He's taking a penalty somehow. That isn't correct, I don't believe. Actually, we can actually go over here and look at it. Saracen, where are you at? Yeah, he's normally at 810, so what is it doing? A minus three to movement? That would make some sense. Yeah, because it was calling that, that uh, thing that went for a one, so. Whoops. Going back and forth over here. Just plow ahead as fast as you can, my friend. Falling back. Oh, well, yeah, they're, it's kind of their job to fall back right now. Leave it to Liao to basically make turrets out of there. Their vehicles. They aren't even turrets. They can't shoot. They can't move. They can't do deadly squat. Um, can you see anything? Can you not see him? No. Oh, he's just kind of nestled down there. Good. Stalker, let's go ahead and have you target this Shrek. And then we'll throw an extra medium laser like we did last time. Just to keep the heat sane. You, I highly doubt can see anybody. You might be able to see Bob. Somebody be twisted. What do we do? Vindicator, missiles hit a little bit. Okay. I've got the, I've got the brands of Castamir song stuck in my head. Um, some LRM-10 hits. We stunned the crew with an AC-5. That's interesting. All right, not a whole lot. We're gonna like stomp up to him and start kicking him in the face here. Yeah, maybe. Actually, I don't know that I can climb that. I might have to go around. Can you get over there? Yeah. Capella is crippled and withdrawing. 
I doubt it. Oh, that's rubble. That might cause me issues. We'll see. You can't see anybody. You can see somebody. Who do we want to SRM6 in the face? if I rotated your turret. Uh, go ahead and take a shot at that guy. And probably could with you if I twisted you around this way. Maybe not, actually. And you're just out of range. Guess let's go ahead and start working on this demolisher. All right, our SM6 blew the heck out of that Shrek. These are all crippled. I don't even think we need to fire at them to finish them off. But still, uh, we're going to call this, a, if we actually do the immobilize engine destroyed thing here, we're going to call that a win with the, uh, as far as kills confirms. I don't even, I don't even remember who's, who's riding in our javelin. It is Tina. I guess kick this one. What do you need? Five. I ran three base. Let's just do it. He kicked it and it didn't do much. I guess you can get up there. I didn't think you could get up an elevation of plus three like that. That's a five, a one to a I guess it is only two. I guess you can't do that one. We'll let you get away with it this time. This, however, is a little bit more dangerous. Minus one to minus two. Oh, that's rubble. Is that going to cause issues? Apparently not. Mm, you, you keep moving. Just to be safe. Don't need both of them though. Eh, eh, why not? You, let's go ahead and twist. Ooh, is he actually shooting at me? Oh, you cheeky buzzer. Alright, we're gonna knock this guy out. Actually, I think I can just fire everything. damage the moto system of that demolisher with a lucky SRM hit. Yeah, everything else missed. I don't think there's any kicking to be done this turn. Whoa. It's getting a bit of snow. Man, I don't know 
that I want to actually what is he on he's a one elevation one these are he's not crippled though or is he is he crippled now I don't know I don't know why he could shoot and nobody else could unless they just didn't have turrets the Shrek has a turret these are turreted weapons aren't they yeah I don't know very confusing uh, no, you're not going to go back. All the way forward. I really don't want her to take a PPC to the face. Her AC-20 is to the face. You, we can just march you forward, I guess. Can we not go through him? Activated. And he needs what? Tens now? Well, I'm likely to take some SR or LRM hits. Can you see anybody? No. Hmm. I don't think you can see anything anyway, so you're safe. You can't see anybody. You're safe. You, on the other hand, can apparently see somebody. Um, let's go ahead and do some counter battery here. So he needs sixes, and I need eleven. Why? Heavy snowfall, long range. He must just have like awesome gunnery. A one two, yeah. Now yeah, we'll take a couple shots anyway. Why not? I don't think he's in layer large laser range though, unfortunately. No. And you see nothing. Okay. LRM twenty, yeah. I knew the stalker was gonna get hit a little bit. AC twenty is thankfully missed. We actually did hit him with a uh, Missiles. He has a lot of armor. Wow. It's a ridiculous amount of armor. Just gonna need to bypass him or something. Or walk up to him and start kicking him. Of course he's got dangerous stuff up close too. Um physical attacks against what? I guess I can kick him. I ain't gonna kick him. He's immobilized. Okay, uh, let me pause the video here real quick, and I will be.